Fort Mary is the place to be this weekend to get your crackling fix. That's because the Crackland Festival is celebrating its 36th year and kicked off yesterday. News 10's Gerald Gornick joins us live to talk about what's in store for the rest of the festival. Gerald, good morning. Hello, Acadiana. Good morning. We're live at Port Berry, baby. Show you right. Getting ready for the Crackle Festival Road Shows kicking off this afternoon with the Acadiana Live. Then again at five and six. And of course, you know we'll keep you covered throughout the course of the weekend. I want to go down the line because it's been a couple of geez, about an hour and a half now since y'all introduced yourself to the people of Acadiana. This is our most watched half hour. So let's go, baby. Come on. I'm Chloe Mixon. I'm your 2021 Miss Crackle Festival Queen. I'm Madison Frame, your 2021 Teen Crackle Festival Queen. I am Allison Pisani, your 2021 Ms. Cracklin Festival Queen. Allison, looking forward to the weekend? Absolutely. I live, well, yeah, tell me, I, tell me. I live not far from here. I, I grew up coming here, so this is really close to my heart. You know, uh, I'm sorry for pulling the mic. Sometimes it's just like, absolutely, and then, and then they'll stop talking. So it's like, sorry, I had to keep asking. Um, any words of encouragement to get people to come out this weekend? Our festival is for a phenomenal cause. We raise money for children. Uh, we raise money for children in need uh, with disabilities, so every dollar that, that you're going to spend is going to something very special for families around here in Louisiana. So definitely, if, if you're thinking about, man, should I spend this money, it's going to a great cause. It'll awesome. be worth it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, John, do me a favor. Let's show off some crackling because Desiree, we, we got to read some stuff off. Go, Desiree. Read some stuff off. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I want to give you guys a little shout out. Um, Bork Supermarket here in Port Barry and Lafayette is a Grand Graton sponsor as well as Crescent Crown Distributors, and we also have Buku Graton, which is Chips Daiquiris in the whole entire area. I don't know exact. I can't tell you where they're all at, but they're here. Here's the deal, Acadiana. Everybody getting behind this in Port Barry. Obviously, this event means so much to this community. I know the Lions Club obviously putting in tons of work. Todd, yeah, I told you I wasn't gonna talk to you. I know I'm gonna get him. Desiree, I got him. Hey, bro. Hey, buddy. Hey, Chris Cozart. Chris Cozart uh, couldn't come out this morning because you know Trevor schedules a little uh, a little crazy this afternoon. But you got the forecast for us. Yes, right? it's gonna be sunny, a little cool. But the only thing that will be real cold is an ice cold beer. And they 16 ounce, <laughs> and they 16 ounce aluminum cans, baby. Show you right, John. We're gonna end on the crackling. We got much more coming up throughout the course of the day on Caleb on News 10. I'm Gerald Grunick. Hope you guys have a great weekend. See, I was thinking about That's that when you were talking. I think I saw that theory. <laughs>